Anyway, the alternate routes are back. We have Tim, Eric, Chip, Mike, and Mike in the studio. They're playing uh, at the Mercury Lounge tonight here, right here in New York City. Guys, great to have you back. You know, I love your new record, A Sucker's Dream. And, Thanks. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, as I, as I told Leslie, when you first came in last time, I wasn't expecting the toolbox, which I love that you have the toolbox in your single, The Future's Nothing New. And, you know, I want to let everybody know that the toolbox has its own microphone. You know, <laughs> we got our own microphone set up just for the toolbox today. Now, Leslie went over, Tim, and she went over to just check the weight to see if it was it's really heavy. heavy. Yeah. And it's heavy. You got, you're got you multitasking because, you know, you can get the, those arm workouts while you're doing the song at the same time. Yep. And you got to watch out for... Uh you know, tennis elbow or whatever you want. We don't call it toolbox elbow. Toolbox. Yeah. Tell me first. You got to tell me how did you end up incorporating that in the song? What was the first time you knew you were going to use the toolbox? Was that something that happened in the studio or rehearsal? How did that happen? Well, the whole song came about in a pretty strange way, and we had a, a long trip, um, and there was five guys in the band as there are now, and so we started out with five words, of random words: a who, a what, a when, a where, and a why. So we had this really strange poem, and. Later that week, we were just in the house, or months later or something, and Eric started playing. Chip actually sat down, our bass player sat down at the drums, and it was just the three of us in the house. And it came together, the vibe for the tune came together very quickly, and we just brought out this strange poem that we had written, you know, flipped it around a few times, made it work that way. And then, then we were just all alone in the house with this skeleton for a song, and we just started trying weird things. And the original version of the song is still one of my favorites, because... Um, we're just like at some point, there's two toolboxes in the original demo. We, we're shaking them at one point, we start dropping them on the ground, and then towards the end of the song, we're just like throwing them around this giant wooden room. So you hear the tools like going all over the place. Yeah, it's just everything fell apart. and Like relationships can do something. Yes, <laughs> ironically, yeah. Um, so that's kind of how it happened, you know? And yeah. it's the original toolbox of the guy that I was living with at the time, and I had to give him a little bit of money because there's some very reputable tools in there. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's great. Like some Black and Decker and some other, sure. you know, Snap-on. Well, we're, Stan we're Connecticut guys, so Stanley is... Uh, oh, Stanley's up there. That's right. Yeah. You're from Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is great. Yeah. Now, you know, is there, a f is there a real Fiona in your life? Because you talk about Fiona in the lyrics, and I always wondered... Uh, um, Fiona, Fiona really isn't there a Fiona the in everybody's life? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, Metaphorically speaking, once again. Yeah, that's always been one of my favorite female names. I, I always swore that if I had a daughter that I would name her Fiona, but um, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's representing someone else. I mean, yeah. It's cool. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. I love this song. So you're going to play it for us right now, guys? Yeah, let's do it. And I want to let everybody know you're playing not only tonight at the Mercury Lounge, but you're doing, you're going to be part of the 1019 RXP Hope Oak and Maxwell show, you guys are playing with Ed Kowalsh. It's a Rock Us a Live concert, so we're happy to have you on the bill. We really yeah. are. All right, so the alternate routes are in the studio, and they're going to do the Futures Nothing New. 1019 RSP, it's Local Licks Live. Well, she don't have a mama's hips yet, so she stole a mama's lipstick. And she knew that I was coming And I think that I know why She goes by Fiona She seeks bad luck and omens When she's free and when she's lonely She comes beating at my door Singing I've seen the future And the future's nothing new Just another day to miss the things we used to do So just lay me down somewhere like you do I've seen the future and the future's nothing new Steer the bitch back Paint the crane Winter's coming back again Had the bourbon Stack the wood and roll below. Sunday's coming, heat the plates. The farmer's daughter lays in wait. Jeans caught up above her knees. Lying there, she waits for me. She goes by Fiona, she seeks. Bad luck in omens when she's free and when she's lonely. She come beating at my door. Singing, I see in the future. 
nothing new Just another day to miss the things we used to do So just lay me down somewhere like you do I've seen the future and the future's nothing new Crystal bars in Portland gonna tell you how it's tough You need a little bit of love Just trying to get the good rush But if you really start coming Would it matter all that much? Saying, I've seen the future and The future's nothing new Just another day to miss the things we used to do so Just lay me down somewhere like you do I've seen the future and the future's nothing new She don't have a mama's hips yet So she stole her mama's lipstick And she knew that I was coming And I think that I know why 1019 RSV live in the studio, the ultimate roots And that is called The Future of the New It's Tim, Eric, Chip, Mike, and Mike Tonight at the Mercury Lounge And don't forget at Maxwell's in Hoboken On the 21st, the Rock is Alive 1019 RSV concert With Ed Kowalczyk you guys are on the same record label as the band Live, Vanguard. Yes. You've done some shows with them. Aren't they the greatest? They are the greatest. And they, even before our relationship with Vanguard started, they, um, we played a, a random show with them in Dallas. And I guess after that show, they, they told us they, they really liked the band and they said, if there's ever an opportunity for us to do a show together again, we would, we'll have you, you know? And for a band that's, you know, accomplished what they have, to, to say that to a band that at the time wasn't signed and um, didn't have a ton going for it was was a nice feeling and it, and it gave us some momentum for the next few months so and that's the thing you kind of, it's things like that that keep, that keep you going you know when you're, when you're hitting some slim times you know oh yeah really bad so that's cool and those are the friends you keep you know what I mean in, 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 in the music thing so it's great fantastic good to have you guys again Tim yeah. it's good to see you it's only been a, a couple months but it's um we love this station. We get it where we live, which is so even more exciting. You know? Yeah, that's great that you do. It's really cool that it reaches all those different areas. So yeah. it literally does, and you know, it's it's all about the variety, and it's also about supporting local music like yourselves. And it's great. And you guys have been touring all over the place, as like you said, Dallas. You've been all over the country, and yeah, you're building a real strong fan base everywhere. We want to thank you guys for coming by. It was so good to have you, by the way. Yeah. You and you know you're welcome back again. Go out and buy the record. Yeah, go out and buy their new album. It's called A Sucker's Dream. You can buy it on in the stores or you can get it online. It's the alternate routes. Don't forget tonight at the Mercury Lounge. Thanks again, guys. Thank Absolutely. you, guys. Thanks.